Welcome back to the MyPhoenix YouTube channel. I hope you've had another great week and have a good weekend planned. Today, we've got something quite rare in the Phoenix range. It is our new HT30R, the latest Phoenix LEP light. So what is an LEP I hear you ask? Well, light excited phosphor is a specialized style of light that takes light created by shining a laser diode onto a phosphor crystal. We then take this light generated Focus it using some insulated lenses and we get a nice tight long range beam. The result of this beam is light with very little spill. You know that viral image of the Uber customer helping his driver find him? Well imagine that, but even better. These lights are very powerful, so that's why we include a warning of each light. You'll be seeing rings for hours if you look into one of these. Maybe best to keep out of the reach of children as well. So let's have a look at this light. Dimensions wise, we're looking at a length of 179 millimeters, a head diameter of 40 millimeters, a body diameter of 26 millimeters, and for weight, we're looking at 264 grams, including the battery. So we'll start with the head. This long cylinder is where the focusing elements are, taking that light and pushing it out to that max distance. Then about here, we had the laser and phosphor. Next on the body tube, we had the charge port. Unlike other hidden charge ports where a cuff rotates down, here the whole head moves up to reveal the USB-C port, and just on the left we have the charge indicator. This rotating feature is a great way to keep any muck and grime out of your charge port that could lead it to fail in the future. Let's put that back into place. Next we have the body clip, a one-way style allowing for easy clipping. We then come down to the end, where we have the new style tactical tail switch. This makes a lot of sense with this light, as there are only a few lighting modes to use, and having to switch to a neck grip is a bit impractical. The whole unit is IP68 rated, and has been drop tested to 1.5 meters, but due to those focusing elements, we just say to take a bit of extra care with it. Powering this unit is a 21700 5000 mAh battery. The torch will need it, as whilst only generating 500 lumens of light, it will only run for 2 hours 20 because of energy draw from the laser. That 500 lumen setting will also be affected by some thermal step down. The battery is also kept in place with a dual spring system. This will absorb any impact or recoil and prevent any momentary power failures. So the operation of this light. As we said, we have the two button tail switch as we might have seen on the TK16V2 or TK20RV2. The big button activates the torch and the smaller one is the mode switch. Holding the big button halfway gives you momentary and a full click gives you full activation. We get two modes, the low of 100 lumens and the high of 500 lumens. That low will reach out to 600 meters, lasting up to 7 hours 15, and the high will reach out to incredible 1,500 meters with a 2 hour 20 runtime. We also then get strobe mode by holding down that smaller functional button. In the box we get a nice holster, a couple of spare o-rings, a lanyard, a USB-C charge cable, and your warranty card and user manual. So for the beam patterns, you can see we get a tight hotspot and almost zero spill on both the settings. It's just a bit brighter on the high. So who might use this light? Well, it's quite a niche market. Whilst it does have such an incredible range, it doesn't have much spill light. Because of this reduced spill light, it might be a bit limiting in terms of search and rescue roles. If you're looking over a vast area but all you can see is a small area of light, it might take you a long time to spot a casualty. You'd be better off using something like a HT18 or an LR40R, which has great range but also a spare amount of spill light too. It does have its place in the hunting and lamping market, where you can shine up exactly where you want to see. This light is compatible with the AOG00, AOG16 and AOG18 light mounts, and also with the AER04 and AER05 pressure switches. Again, with this limited spill, if you're trying to target something that's fast moving, you might have some trouble tracking along with it. We find the people who might go for this light are really lighting enthusiasts, people who love their tech and who were really impressed by this style of lighting. It really is a sight to see. What do you think of the HD30R LEP? Do you have any LEPs in your range? Let us know in the comments. 
So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. And speaking of which, why not head over to our channel to see our full range of product videos. Coming up on our schedule, we have a full rundown of the C7 torch, which is new to the UK market. So stay tuned and we'll see you next time.